Hello, Rahul. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, Rahul. And, uh, you know, I'm very glad that, you know, I'm speaking to you today. And thanks for taking out your uh, uh, you know, time and, and speaking to us. Uh, first of all, I would like to welcome you on the behalf of the program committee for uh, Scrum Alliance Regional Scrum Gathering, Hyderabad, 29th and 30th March, 2019. And uh, thanks for accepting. Thanks, Gaurav. Yeah, and for our viewers, I'll uh, you know uh, give a brief introduction about uh, Rahul. Uh, Rahul is our speaker at the conference. Uh, he is an agile practitioner who loves helping other teams in practicing and understanding agile. He is also a member of Scrum User Group of South Africa, and his passion is for delivering business value with continuous improvement after making strong relationship with people wow that's 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 an amazing phrase you added there that's fantastic to know so uh, rahul let me start and uh, if you can you know please introduce in your own words okay and also talk about what keeps you busy nowadays okay so i uh, recently uh, so first i will speak about my introduction i mean i think you have briefed it uh, quite well so i mean i'm from i'm i'm basically from india but uh, I moved to Johannesburg in 2011, so it's all I mean more than a year, more than eight years now. Okay. Uh, I came here for three months, but I think two things which kept me here. One was uh, I mean the team, my team. So that was my first time when I got exposed to an agile team, and uh, uh, that was one of the reasons why I was like, okay, no, I need to stay in this team for more time. <laughs> and then uh, this beautiful country because it's it's an amazing country because uh, from outside we think that oh south africa i mean it's it's africa mm -hmm. but it's 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 completely different country i think it's one of the most beautiful places on earth to live wow fantastic yeah yeah uh, and uh, the city where i'm living uh, johannesburg it's uh, the world's biggest urban jungle oh really <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the world's uh, biggest man-made gender. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah, now you're making me to, you're tempting me to come there, okay? <laughs> oh, sure, sure, sure. When we'll have, uh, I mean, gathering here, then you must submit the talk and uh, then, and uh, one good part is that uh, South Africa Scrum Gathering, uh, uh, it, it, it gives, uh, it, it, it caters for your travel as well. Oh, so, wow, that's exciting. Uh, that's quite interesting. Yeah. So if your talk is selected, then everything is on yeah. Scrum User Group. Great. Great. Good to know. And uh, uh, what keeps me busy is, so I recently joined uh, uh, one of my very old uh, friend and colleague from Agile community, uh, Pavel, Pavel Debrisky. Uh, he's one of the certified Scrum trainer. And one of those people whom I admired a lot since long. And uh, so he founded a company in 2015, which is Think Agile. And recently when he thought that, okay, I mean, let now he should uh, make his team bigger. And that's where we, we chatted about it and uh, uh, everything went well. And uh, I've joined this uh, Think Agile uh, in November. So now I'm enjoying this thing because uh, this is what I wanted to do and this is what I'm passionate about. So, so I'm enjoying that. Uh, also, so I'm, uh, I'm going to some different and difficult clients, including <laughs> private sector, public sector, like government um, organizations. But it's really good to see, good to see uh -huh. that organizations and public sector, they are uh, uh, also now recognizing uh, the power of uh, being agile, being I mean, the power of agility, uh, uh, which is which is brilliant to see, which is amazing. Yeah, that's good to know because you know a lot of time people have perceptions that you know maybe uh, private sector might do it, but you know maybe yeah. our sector might take some time. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah. think, I think, as you rightly said, it's, it, it doesn't matter which sector. It's all about everybody is recognizing the fact that we need to change, <laughs> right? Exactly. And uh, I believe wherever people, I mean, people are working 
agility can be wow i like that line oh yeah okay i'm going to use this okay <laughs> yeah. so if if somewhere where people are not working then it's okay i mean you can't bring agility <laughs> <laughs> then it's all machine right so <laughs> yeah Great. So, so if you see, I mean, Kanban came from like uh, manufacturing industry. Exactly. So there also, yeah. So people are working there. You can bring agility. <laughs> good, good, good. So iterative and incremental with regular feedback. Yeah. That's a plus. Good. So, so you know, give, give us some some uh, you know idea about how this all started. I mean, where. Uh, how uh, were you in IT, non-IT, and how did all girls started? Where you now? Now you, 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 as you said that this is your passion. But how did you reach here? A brief uh, about your journey. So, uh, so for five years, I worked in uh, waterfall environment. Uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, when I came to South Africa, uh, I got exposed to the agile way of working. Uh huh. And uh, uh, then my first term masters. Uh, I learned a lot from her, and uh, that's why I would like to take her name. Her name, her name is uh, Regina Martins. She work, works with Agile Forty Two now. Okay. So, uh, I I became passionate about it when I was part of that team, and that was one of the reasons I stayed in South Africa for longer time, longer period. Uh, for four and a half years, almost five years, I was in that team. And that's where I became passionate about uh, agility. I used to do a lot of uh, like anti, anti, anti scum things, anti patterns. I used to do myself, and then I used to get like shouting from my scrum master, <laughs> which was later I realized that no, I mean if she was not that tough on me, I would not have had learned these these many things. Very good. Uh, so that helped me in becoming a better scrum master. And uh, now when I'm on this journey uh, to be an agile coach for my life, mm -hmm. then I think uh, those learnings are helping, helping me a lot. Mm -hmm. So in 2013, I did my uh, Scrum Master course, which was my, it was not my first step, but it was my first official step uh, mm -hmm. towards uh, the Scrum things from an agile. Mm -hmm. And then in 2015, I joined uh, the Scrum user group. I started going to uh, Scrum. So there is a big community here. More than, more than I think 1,200 or 1,300 people in this community. Mm -hmm. And for last uh, around nine, around nine years, mm -hmm. uh, this Scrum user group is uh, 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 organizing the Scrum gathering. Okay. So, so then in 2015, I became part of the committee, and for four years, I served. Uh, this committee and community and then th only this year from January I stepped down uh, because of the time crunch and because it takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of commitment uh, so for example I mean same time we have a call from uh, for our gathering and same time I have to take my daughter to jungle gym <laughs> so it was becoming a challenging thing for me. So, but still, I mean, from background, I am still supporting community. I'm still helping. Uh, how can I help from background? Sure. But I'm not committed this on this year. But I think it's 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 brilliant. It's it's a kind of servant leadership when you ah, create a wow. platform for others to learn. Wow, I like that. <laughs> Great, good, 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 very good. So uh, let's talk uh, briefly about, you know, yeah, you, we talked about your journey, what, you, what keeps you busy today. So, so mm -hmm. let's also talk about uh, how, do you, how do you see your vision or mission that how you want to take this agility uh, to, to the next level? What, what are your uh, visions and dreams about? So, I mean, my vision is that how, because I said that wherever there are people, yeah. uh, then we can bring agility. Yeah. Uh, what I was so my vision is if we can incorporate uh, these agile principles and values mm -hmm. in uh, every other thing where wherever we can. So like uh, my next item is uh, Scrum in education because uh -huh. my mother is my mother is teacher, uh -huh. and I was thinking about uh, so I'm I'm thinking about writing something on it. Uh -huh. So. I mean, for the last two, three days, I was thinking that uh, because there are people and uh, there's a set. So, for example, if we take an uh, example of uh, uh, a semester mm. in 
in in uh, in engineering so there's a set topics there are set topics which need to be taught to students yeah uh, by by a date yeah yeah and uh, which is if we if, if if we link it to a kind of uh, vision what is the product vision uh -huh, uh -huh. and then if we break it down into uh if we can break it down into different releases uh -huh, okay and then those releases into different sprints wow and because right now also it is divided into i mean sprints if you see that okay i mean there will be unit tests there will be half yearly then there will be i mean a full term exam but the the, the thing which i feel is missing is the is the feedback ah okay and the continuous continuous improvement ah okay all right so uh, if if you if you have heard that parkinson law that ah. uh, which which was there in our uh, student life Yeah, yeah. So when we have the whole year to study, especially it happens with boys. <laughs> when do we study? So end, like on the right? last, <laughs> the end of. Irrespective of we are given given six months uh, or we are given two years, mm -hmm. the Parkinson law will still exist. Still exist, yeah. Right. So I think two things are missing from the current uh, uh, education system: uh -huh. is one is the continuous feedback. Uh -huh. and then second thing is uh, uh, that break down that bigger uh, year or six month into smaller chunks yeah. so that we can we can have that feedback continuous feedback and continuous improvement okay. because if we think about exams they are given mm -hmm. i mean and if you got less numbers you got less numbers i mean how do you improve improve yeah, yeah so is... and <laughs> exactly an exam is something is in written yeah yeah and if you see in real life whatever you have written it's not important how you speak that's the most important thing in this world so how you convey your message wow. so how we can how we how we can bring uh, uh, the sprint reviews kind of things mm -hmm. in that okay i mean if you have 30 students in your class mm -hmm. then uh, after every sprint of 3 weeks or a month yeah. you should have a demo day ah. where uh, every every student should demo something which mm -hmm. they have learned mm -hmm. so and the topic they will get Mm -hmm. only on the day or a day before so they have to read everything wow but then they have to present something and they have to listen also because they have to ask questions from other people so for last 3 yeah. 4 days i'm thinking yeah uh, thinking about these things great, so great. maybe i mean i will i i think i'll find someone who can or maybe some college or some university who who is happy to uh try this this thing so it might work it might not but worth trying exactly wow so yeah that's very exciting to know that you know you have vision to take agility into pretty much other sectors starting from education yeah that's exactly cool. it's it's all about it's all about how we can get value out of it yeah. and if we feel that we can get some value and if it will be beneficial for uh, students if it will be beneficial for uh, uh, teachers as well because when we will talk about retrospectives so retrospectives which should also happen yep. where teachers uh, will give feedback to students and students will give feedback to teacher that i mean how you can improve your teaching i could not understand that so those kind of things so teachers will eventually also improve and uh, and it will be good for students so when the ex actual exams comes uh, -huh. uh it will be a kind of formality yeah exactly because they will be better better prepared sure good so uh, let's move on to our uh, next topic and uh, yeah. uh, you know please uh, let us know a little bit uh, you know definitely we don't want to steal the thunder and we want to hear your life in uh, scrum gathering but if you can uh, briefly talk about your topic which is servant leadership and art of creating legacy uh, that's a very very important topic in our community today so please help us uh, understand what what you are looking forward for so uh, this is a topic which is uh, close to my heart uh huh and uh, uh, i think servant leadership is something which was initially uh, misunderstood by a lot of people uh huh and people thought that no i mean it's like how you can be a servant i mean uh -huh. you have to be a manager then only you can get some work done yeah and i believe that uh, we need to concentrate on how we can create an mm -hmm. uh, an environment Mm -hmm. where people are not dependent on us mm. so how we can create self sustaining teams uh -huh. uh, so that uh, nobody is dependent on each other work is getting done mm -hmm. uh, without any dependency 
mm-hmm. and uh, people are uh, self managed Wow. So and that's why there's a saying that a scrum master should work uh, towards so that he can be out of his job. Yeah. A best scrum master is the one. I mean, who has uh, if you if after one year if you're not needed in the team, yeah, it means that you've done. A, I mean, your job quite well. Yeah, scrum master, somebody who works towards firing themselves, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. exactly, exactly. And uh, the thing is, uh, in big in big corporate, especially in uh, banking industry, I've I've. realize that a lot of people create a lot of dependencies yeah uh which which becomes a huge challenge for the organization itself yeah sure. so how we can remove that dependency how we can segregate the knowledge how we can create a learning organization so that i mean it will definitely slow down uh the organization a bit mm-hmm. but uh, that speed will be at least sustainable because when we talk about agility it's all about sustainable pace Yeah, I really so, like when you said that. How do we create a learning organization? And 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 couldn't agree more. Uh, being a coach myself, you know, I see see this uh, all across multiple clients that you know they are struggling to 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 be a learning organization because it, it's very difficult for large organizations to remain nimble. Actually, good, very mm-hmm. fantastic. So uh, Rahul, we'll move to our uh, last question for tonight. uh and mm-hmm. any message you want to give to the delegates uh, who are attending who have already uh, planned to attend the people who are looking to you know what they can expect from a regional gathering because you have been organizing gatherings in africa as well so what people yeah. can expect any message for them <clears throat> so basically in my uh, this agile journey of 8 years uh-huh. i have learned different aspect of uh, uh, servant leadership uh-huh. from various people Mm-hmm. not only in it industry but like so doctors mm-hmm. parents and uh, uh, and a lot of people uh-huh. so because i'm not einstein who has who came up with something so we always learn from people exactly. different people yeah and then a few ideas clicks in our mind and then we try to teach those things to other people as well so people should expect various aspects of servant leadership yeah why why it is important Uh, the servant leadership should live mm-hmm. in organizations, mm-hmm. uh, so that ultimately, because my belief is no one should manage no one. Yeah. Great. So, so how? Because even for the organization where I am working, think agile. I will. So we have also started a great program where we are serving community mm-hmm. uh, without even expecting that they should do something for us. Wow. So there are different things to learn from different people, yeah. different companies. Yeah. Uh, how we can in, in, we can in, incorporate those things in our life in our organizations. Yeah. So people should expect various aspects of servant leadership, which I learned from different people, which I learned from few organizations. Sure. Uh, so that they can from next day, if they can incorporate, if they can talk about those things in their organization, then it would. I, I believe it should benefit uh, them. as a person it should benefit their teams yeah and then it ultimately the i mean the, the ultimate beneficiary is uh, the organization exactly wow that's fantastic to know rahul and uh, definitely we are looking forward uh, i'm personally looking forward to meet you in person as well uh, it was a uh, pleasure to talk to you tonight and uh, thank you very much for your time today sure thanks rahul